Hey, Luca. What are you reading there? Are you checking out the history of 600 AD? Is there anything about a Tata in it? Welcome back to Chrono Trigger Plus! Previously, we came back here to 600 AD with overpowered gear. And we're tearing Magus' army a new one. But we need a special weapon for Magus himself, up here in the Denodora Mountain. But I forgot to do some things. There's some NPCs I didn't speak to all over the place. Oh, specifically two places. This guy over here has important information. Sure. Goblins have hammers! You can burn their weapons and make them useless. Oh, well, that's important. We're gonna be running across goblins in the Denodora Mountains. Also, the poor market down here. Where the home of Tata, the great hero, lives. And the, the, the lesser hero, Frog, in the woods. Living in a hole in the ground. Kinda miserable. Two things. This right here. Another power tab. I'll take that. Berets are better than rock helmets for the ladies. Because for some reason, ladies cannot wear regular helmets. Gold helmets. Yeah, they gotta be fancy. So I'll go ahead and put a beret on everybody in the party. Luca needs a matching set for that Tobin vest, though. Fortunately, there is something coming up, but not quite yet. So it's time for Denodora Mountains! This is a gauntlet area. It's filled with enemy battles. And ambient water music. Oh, never mind. There's music. Also goblins. And 300G! I was trying to sneak past the alert birds, but... These goblins do terrible damage, and have terrible HP. Everything about them is terrible. They're going to be easily destroyed by our prehistoric gear. We didn't make getting upgrades, alright? This is still the dream stuff? I'm pretty sure. Also, it's made out of something called Dreamstone. That's going to become relevant a little bit later on. So, we killed those things, but I'd like to avoid most of the scripted battles around here. Isn't there supposed to be something happening right about now? Well, besides that Mirage Hand I just picked up? That is for... Robo. Yeah, you would think, um... You'd think Isla would be able to use this, considering it's worse for Robo from the Magma Hand. Ah, there it is. I sprinted right past it. Tata, I presume! W where are you going? It's just one goblin! It doesn't even have a hammer! Where are you going? You're supposed to be a hero! Get the Masamune! Eh? Masamoon! Masamune! Whatever, get the sword! Kill the Magus! This kid isn't very linkish, if you ask me. Oh, oh, there's the hammer. Okay, he's right to be scared of this guy, because you need firepower to get, get rid of it. They hit harder, and for some reason they have a lot more defense, even though they're just holding, like, a, a giant piece of wood. You gotta hit him with a fire attack. Napalm, magic, it doesn't matter, it's gotta be fire elemental. Then they turn into a regular goblin, and they die really easily. So Tata is not exactly hero material. He just got the heck out of dodge. Nothing else up here. I thought there would be more prizes besides that arm. But I see that treasure chest over there. I'm gonna grab that. There's treasure chests all over the place. Some of them are really well hidden. an ether there. Uh, we can't get over to that side just yet. We gotta go up and around. Ah, I wanted to sneak past the goblins. I don't think there's a way to sneak past this particular group of goblins. There's a wimpy one. There's also a beefy one over here. I just like throwing grenades at them. Napalm is one of my favorite spells, or abilities. 
There is a spell that's better than napalm. I think it costs war crimes. Scientific war crimes. It's a weapon of mass destruction. Is anybody learning any new tech soon? I'm curious. Ooh, lightning too! Well, it's an all attack. We could use a few of those. Also, there's a fire too. Does fire damage to all enemies? That would be handy, even though it's a while off. And nothing else now. And we got some twos in our future. No auras here. That didn't happen until like 1999 when Final Fantasy VIII? I think eight is the first one. And this is this guy here. He's just like trying to smack you. As you can tell, the hitbox is kind of generous on him. Oh, hi! How you doing today? Just passing through. So it looks like the reptites have evolved a little bit. We got bird ninjas! The freelancers! No, that doesn't mean they're for hire, like a mercenary. It's just, uh, they want lances to run free in the wild, as they were intended. It's a really weird concept, but I'll let them have it. You know activists these days. More chests everywhere. There's another gold helmet. I'm gonna hold on to that. Uh, let's... Let's fight this guy, sure. We're gonna be seeing this a lot. Unavoidable battles. That require fire to solve, because otherwise we cannot get through that defense. Even with an overpowered weapon like the Zamato and these dream weapons, it, it, it just can't cut through. Even criticals fall short. Really slows up the gameplay. I have mixed feelings about it. I get what they're going for here. Another unavoidable battle. If I had that fire too by now, it would have been so helpful because it would have been able to kill the freelancer and burn his guy's weapon in one go. Level 2 spells are really powerful. But that would require a lot of new farming, and I just didn't feel like farming news. Especially since the new and accursed woods will most likely come with an extra enemy. And you know the, the news have that one HP left headbutt. And that means an enemy could finish you off very easily. Man, is this place gonna come to a head anytime soon? Stop throwing things! Take note of what he's throwing at us, too. You can see it for a very split second. Also, he does a little bit of damage when he hits Chrono with it, I believe. Let's see, Chrono has 191. I'm gonna let him get hit a couple times. Now he has 181. It does about 5 HP damage each. Yeah, just about. chest. I'm pretty sure I'm avoiding some battles by hugging this wall. Well, it's a nice vista, but it's been ruined by enemy attacks. It's yet another gauntlet. Everybody's picking on Chrono. Stop picking on Chrono. He's got that black sword. You don't want to mess with that. Usually black swords mean bad news. Alright, you know what to do, Luca. Set him on fire. He has an earthquake attack, I don't like that. They're actually kind of whittling us down, little by little. i gonna get a little heal in here. The aura world is better than the regular aura, and it heals everybody. Come on, kill goblin faster. We have many goblin to kill. It's a 1990s RPG, you always need to kill goblin. Goblins and rats and maybe a bird ninja or two. Why the heck not? Again, conflict of interest. This game likes me killing birds. It's like it knows. And I don't like when it knows.
They could have thrown in some enemy variety, at least. I mean, the Freelancers are gonna die in one shot. We're overpowered. The only way they're gonna get an attack off is if I let them. Not one, not two, but three battles! Oh, they're kind of clumped together. Ah, crap. Never mind. I was about to say, Napalm would have been able to catch them both. But still, Hammer Dude. Someone heard the MC Hammer song, heard it was Hammer Time, and then took that literally. He's having a 24-7 Hammer Time. I wonder how many times this happens on the mountains, somebody just sets their weapons on fire. Because you'd think they would be starting to make them out of steel by now or something. Alright, we get it, we don't have an all attack. Some of these enemies are probably shadow... Absorb it anyway. Which means that we won't be able to do much. I mean, we could wind slash, but why? They're so spread out, we can't really do much of anything to them. This is just a really slow section of the game. Imagine doing this when uh, you're actually evenly matched. You weren't able to skip ahead to uh, 65 million BC and get some broken stuff. These battles will take even longer! I mean, the tech points are okay. I could use the tech points for the level 2 spells. Is there gonna be another dude throwing stuff at us? Oh, we got those guys. I'm pretty sure they, they noticed we were there. You didn't need to help them. Unskippable battles! This is the mountain of unskippable battles. It's like this game saw what I was doing to the first half of it. They're sneaking around, avoiding all the enemies because I didn't want to fight them. And it was like, no, you can't do that no more. Sorry. You are dispermitted from that party. The sneaking party. There's a guy up there exercising. He's probably guarding a chest of some sort. We'll just leave him be. There we go. More mid-ethers. I could use those. Anything down here? Ah, that's the way forward. This waterfall is special. If you go over here, you'll drop down to a chest. And that contains the Silver Stud. The Silver Stud is what effectively replaced the um, Seraph Song. Negative 50% MP usage. It's a half MP. I'll put that on Marl because she's supposed to be the healer anyway. It'll make her more efficient. Even though she doesn't really have an all heal like Robo. And it'll allow us to hop over here and grab this. The silver earring! That would be good on... Robo, probably. Or maybe some other kind of tank. I'll hold on to that. It increases HP by like 20%. If we went down the big waterfall, we'd end up over there, and we would only get ourselves a, a silver earring instead. But we got both prizes. And we could just head up from here. There's no more battles here. We finished them all. Oh, except for this one. We gotta do this one again. Fast forward time. All I'm doing is mashing the A button. That's all I'm doing. You see, this is why Earthbound was so good, because if you were overpowered in a battle, it would be like, nah, they just lost. Sorry, they just simply lost. None of this BS. Chrono Trigger is great and all, but you got stuff like this going on. Where you just mash in a single button, and you win. They don't even get to do anything. That battle shouldn't have happened. Though, this mountain is kinda nice. Don't you think so, Kilawala? Yeah, mountains are nice. I like how, uh, the matte painting there. Nice and foggy. Don't you agree? It sure is. Could do without the battles, though, you know? Battles are a little bit too much. How do you feel about battles? Mountains are indeed nice, yes! Even though that is just gray and black. Doesn't look that nice, especially not this day and age. Have you seen mountains?
Bug to kill well enough, you get a magic tab. But still, mountains are nice. Moving on. Ah, save point. It means something interesting is going to go on. Besides battles! Even though that just means a boss battle. Also this, yeah, this right here. Did I get that from the Millennial Fair? I don't remember. I think this might be a blessed thing where you actually get a boxed lunch. And you eat it. And it heals. I think before you just eat the guy's lunch then and there and you heal from it. That's why you're not allowed to eat the guy's lunch during the trial. But afterwards, you know, get your revenge. Eat that guy's lunch. Eat all the lunch. Pretty sure there's something else around here. It's really hidden. You might go right past it. Yep, there it is. This dude's throwing crap at us again, and we got a golden plate. Who gets golden plate? We don't get golden plate. We got a Tob invest. Uh, Chrono doesn't really need the fire resist. I haven't seen a lot of fire magic. And he's been in our party a whole bunch, so we don't need to worry about that either. Would you just stop throwing things at us, thank you? Stop it. Stop it. You're being ridiculous. I'm waiting for him to back up. Back up, I said. Darn it! I'm not quite sure how to avoid this battle. And now we got four goblins. I'm gonna have to do some wind slashes. Or they can just trigger Chrono's counterattack like they've been doing. Thanks for that. Yes, we understand. You could punch your goblins. Now they're tired. One punch and they're winded. I think Tata could have taken these guys. I really think so. All he needs is a little bit of courage. And, and uh, you know, the Masamune. And, and uh, maybe you should stop calling it the Masamune. You're gonna slash us again, aren't you? I don't remember how to stop this guy from doing things, but he kind of Fs off. Sometimes he joins that battle, sometimes he doesn't. Ooh, this is, sounds mystical. Sounds like the end of the battles. Hey, kid. Do you, do you know Tata? He's the great hero. Okay, sure. Is he LARPing by himself in the middle of a cave up on a mountain surrounded by monsters? And a master sword? Yes, I am. I've come in Tata's stead. He was busy. There wasn't an online course for the Master Sword. So you were just doing the Sans thing, weren't you? Ironically, the Master so the Masamune, the Masamune. Oh wait, Masam Masamune is the right way to pronounce that. I am having a war of pronunciations against myself. That's right, you humans are so silly. I could use this sword. Just don't ask about the wing thing, I could just use this sword. It's great. Sounds like a boss battle. Well, we're willing to tear you guys a new one a little bit. You guys got ugly! Well, here's Masa and Mune. Um, Masa will always counterattack if you attack any of them. But you can get around this by using Hypno Wave. See, there's a reason why we brought Luca along. If one of them's asleep, we can attack one of them with impunity and not get counterattacked. It doesn't matter which one, they kind of share a health pool. It's about a thousand HP. I think the oversight here is they made a boss battle that we could put to sleep. It, it flashed by for like a brief second there. It said Masa and Mune are powerless. Yes, they are. Can't even resist a simple sleeping spell. 
These guys are like they are farming in 65 million BC. Oh, hey, I heard about that guy. Did he fail the trial? Is that why he's not here anymore? He was defeated by these guys. He didn't know how to put them to sleep. He was a knight, after all. They have a second form! With their powers combined, they become Captain Planet! Oh, Captain Planet let himself go. Now we got Masa and Mune! This guy is excellent. Just look at his face. The face that he has. Akira Toriyama was having something going on when he makes these faces. It's just so strange. Well, Protect will guard against his physical attacks. But he does have wind elements. And I think he has thunder spells, too. But his best thing is um, an ability we were warned about with our Wind Slash. Storing Tornado Energy. We can dispel that by using Wind Slash on it. And if we hit it with anything else, he counters with Wind Slash. But I'd rather see him go yes indeed. Just once. Come on, he had a whole month. One month. Only one month. Because the Japanese didn't take video games seriously back then. I just love Yes Indeed, okay? Who doesn't love Yes Indeed? Ted knew what we was doing. Still, we are overpowered, and that means this guy is going to get just torn in half by us. I do want to stop him from doing any more storing tornado energy, though, so I want to keep Corona ready. Because I don't want to get Yes Indeed twice in a row. We have plenty of Yes Indeed to go around. We got some off of Nisbel, or, um... What was his name? The, the dude. The guy. In the magic cave. I forget his name now. Uh, Hecran. Yeah, that's the guy. Maybe he's a little bit durable than I thought. I think it's time to change up tactics. Time for Ice Swords. We get it, you got the William Shatner Punch! And you're extremely large. You gotta go now. Almost 1,000 damage kills the Masa and Mune. So did we just kill the Spirit of the Sword? Because that would have been bad, wouldn't it? Ah, oh, man, they had an ice sword. Well, it's better than those battles I did up to this point. There was a yes indeed in it for me. He's a little small, though. And that's a pretty big sword. Well, at least we cleared the trial. Tato will be so pleased to have this sword. We acquired the Master Sword! Which, once again, needs assembly. Man, why, is, why do video games always give me a broken Master Sword? How did it get broken is the better question. Yep, we got part of a Masamune. Is this the Masa part or the Mune part? Trust us, there's a tornado here. We didn't have time to animate it. Super Mario style, we end up back in the world map. But we have a broken Masamune. And also we have a hero who just ran off. Such a coward. Where did he go? Where's Tato's house again? It's down here, isn't it? There you are! He found the medal that Frog had, and now everybody thought he was the hero. 
the truth comes out. Wow, weren't you just gloating about this? Talk about a hypocrite. Yeah, sure you will. Yeah, he was really doing that. He was saying something about oatmeal. I didn't believe it either. All those carbs definitely will not make you a hero. But what we acquired off that guy happened to have been the hero medal. But we can't really equip it on anybody. Because it belongs to one person. All right there. 50% Masamune crit. That's pretty good. But we need a Masamune to crit with. We're gonna have to bring this back to Frog. It's his middle, after all. And we have a Masamune. And if it's his middle, that means he's the real hero. Hey, Frog, we got some great news. We found it. Some kid had it. Yeah, we heard about the Masamune thing. Well, also, it's not in a great shape, either. He's still miserable because we don't have a completed sword, but why was he standing in front of this chest? You are hiding the other part of the Masamune this whole time! Oh, she's science. She can do this. Melchior? Wait a second! Is he named after his ancestor? Because how was he in 600 AD? I think we're gonna have to ask some questions to that guy. We'll get this covered, Frog, don't you worry. Not in this time period, at least! Should we do that now? Yeah, we should go and do that now. There's some things I need to do it later anyway. So we gotta head all the way back to the only time gate we have in this section of time right now. All the way back at the, uh, Truce Canyon. And we're gonna go to 1000 AD, on the Medina side of everything. And we're gonna have a chat with Melchior. Because somehow his name is on a 600 AD sword. 400 years before he's supposed to exist. Roughly considering his age, that would be more like 350 years, but who's counting? Whoosh! Time travel! I like the mercy that it's a small cutscene and doesn't do the whole thing every time. Hey, check out what I got. Alright, he doesn't want to see it. He doesn't want to see a broken sword, he wants to see an actual sword. The heck with him. Going to Medina. Just gonna go right through that guy's closet again. Or... A cupboard. Same thing. He keeps his clothes in there, he's weird. I guess that does happen to him quite often. So this is time travel. Our clones probably rushed out of there several times by now. Our time clones. Speaking of time, we have questions. The Masamune. How is your name on it? Spill the beans. A magical one at that. Ooh, mystic music. Well, we have time. All the time in the world. Yeah, tell us everything! Dreamstone! Remember what I said about Dreamstone? Uh, Marl, you weren't paying attention, were you? You're basically holding Dreamstone in your hand! It has been available for millennia! So that was your hint to go to 65 million BC and get the Dreamstone off of Isla by drinking her under the table. But since we already did that, we have the Dreamstone right here. 
Oh, time travel! Science and blacksmithery, they go hand in hand. Blacksmithing. What is blacksmithery? If you don't have Luca, but you have Robo, Robo will help out too. So we just got this cutscene that we could walk around in. Apparently you learn a lot of magic words when you're blacksmithing a weapon of unlimited power. Luca will get to processing the Dreamstone. Melchior is going to go ahead and set up the minecart and get the octopi ready. Just observe the stone and this is how you process materials. You get out your mortar and pistol. Or a mug. And just do that to it. Just like thrust your hands against the post and still insist you see the ghost. That didn't take long. By the power of science and magic blacksmithing! Forge us a new sword! Well, I kinda dozed off there when I got supernova Wow, that thing's huge! Man, there's a spiky-haired guy that would really love having something like this. Well, that's the Masamune. Now let's take it to Frog so he could be the hero. I should have known. Frog... Frog had to be the hero. He was green! He was wearing his tunic on his skin this entire time, and I did not see it. I really wouldn't expect Link to talk like that, but clearly Frog is the next reincarnation of Link. You should check one of his flipper hands for a Triforce of Courage. Well, next time on Chrono Trigger Plus, we have a Magic Sword of Might, we have a Ganondorf, and we have a Link! It's time to recreate Zelda Square Style. Good night, folks.